Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Modern Warfare, and I wanted to share with you guys how to complete the Gold Gun Challenge, get kills shortly after reloading as quickly and easily as possible. Now, if you didn't know, this is actually one of the challenges that you have to complete to unlock the Stripes Camo section to be able to get to that gold camo, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have had experience trying to complete this challenge and understand that it is super annoying. I think that this is probably the most difficult one out of all of them, and uh, the good thing is you only have to do this like 45, 50 times. You don't have to get a ridiculous amount of kills doing this, um, but it is very difficult because if you don't get the kill within like two seconds after reloading, then it's not going to count towards your challenge. Uh, so I want to share with you guys some things that I have been doing that have helped me to knock out this challenge a lot quicker. So hopefully this will help you out. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're playing a game mode that's going to benefit you when completing this challenge. So let's say, for example, you're playing team deathmatch on that game mode. Players are going to tend to camp a lot more because there's not an objective, right? The objective is to get kills. So players are going to be hiding and it's going to be difficult to be able to get up behind people and kill people that aren't paying attention after you reload. So Team Deathmatch is definitely not a good game mode to play. The game modes that I would recommend are Headquarters and Domination. I think Headquarters is great for this because players are always going to be on the run and generally not paying attention to what's going on anywhere outside of the Headquarters. So a lot of times when playing HQ, you can catch players off guard that are just running to the HQ and aren't really focused on trying to kill someone on the other side of the map. So uh, what you want to do before any of these tips is you want to make sure that at the beginning of the game or the beginning of your respawn that you shoot out a bullet out of your gun so that you don't you already are have the ability to reload you don't want to have to get there shoot a bullet then reload you want to shoot that bullet as soon as you spawn and have the ability to reload on you at all times so that when you find someone you can just instantly reload don't have to worry about anything and you'll knock it out so again the first thing playing HQ is going to be your best shot you can also do this in domination but I think HQ is you're going to have the best chances of getting more kills in the game this way second all you want to make sure that you're using ghost and dead silence ghost first of all obviously we're going to stay off the radar so we're trying to get up behind people we're trying to catch people off guard so if we're off the radar it's our, it's already going to be in our favor right they're not going to know where we're at it's going to be easier to, to get behind someone and reload and shoot them without them even knowing you're there which is why we're using dead silence obviously having that that, uh, that dead silence is going to allow you to, to sneak around the back of the map, sneak behind their spawn, be very, very quiet, and, and give yourself that opportunity to get the reloading kills. So ghost and dead silence are absolute necessities when it, goes, when it comes to knocking out this challenge. You also want to make sure that you're running a silencer on your gun. The reason for that, um, a lot of times you'll find when doing this challenge, I'm sure a lot of you guys have been in this situation where you reload and the player runs around a corner, so you need to reload again. So if you need to shoot out another bullet so that you can reload your weapon, if you have a silencer, it's going to be much better because you're not going to show up on the radar and it's going to be a lot more quiet. So if you do need to shoot and reload before you kill someone, uh, you have that ability to do so without giving away your spot but by running that silencer. So again, make sure that you're running ghost, dead silence, and a silencer. And uh, and you guys should have you guys shouldn't have too many problems completing this challenge. Um, the last thing I really want to point out is running a UAV is a great idea. Um, obviously, you don't really need a counter because you know you have ghosts, so it's not a big deal. But using that UAV will be clutch, especially when you get behind them. So what I would do is if I got a UAV, I would try to run into their spawn on their side of the map and then call in my UAV so that I have the max amount of time while I'm already there uh, to kind of sneak up behind people and, and try to get those reload kills. Um, but these are the tips. If you guys follow these tips, I promise you it's going to make a huge difference. You'll knock this out a lot quicker than you were before, hopefully. Um, if you guys have any questions or you guys have any more tips that you think would be useful, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see all you guys in the next video.